Welcome back to the Boot Tragedies, man. Good news, good news. The Saints OTAs continue today. They're having a second session from uh, May 31st to June 2nd. So another three-day session for the Saints. Uh, and hopefully, you know, we get some more guys out there. Obviously, a couple guys missed um, that last OTA session, but no big deal. But hopefully, you know, this session, after Memorial Day, we get some guys back in the building. Things I'll be looking for is the Saints to continue to be smart with some of these guys, man. You know, uh, guys like Peyton Turner, who didn't participate. He was kind of doing some prehab things. Marcus Davenport in the same boat. Continue to be smart with these guys, man. These guys are very, very important to the team. So don't just throw them out there if they're not ready. I know we're not in pads. I know it's not really contact out there. But still, you want to get these guys stronger and uh, stuff like that. So this is the perfect time to continue to do those things while they're under your watch, under your care. Make sure these guys are going to be ready to go once this training camp starts, uh, mandatory mini camp stores and stuff like that so i hope the saints continue to be smart with some of these guys that are have shown to be injury prone in the past and uh, hopefully we can get them 100 percent healthy so when it's time to go they're ready to go full speed and we'll talk about Jameis winston limp for a second because that was a big big news thing i don't know why i think sports illustrate i'm not gonna put that on them i don't know who put it out first somebody put it out that Jameis winston was practicing with a limp and it was very noticeable well no shit of course he was he just tore his acl what, in October? Because it was Halloween, I believe, and had surgery in November. Yeah, it's May. It's still May. Yes, he has a limp if he's trying to practice. He has a big, big-ass knee brace on. It's going to be a limp. He's ahead of schedule. That's the that's the most important thing that people are missing. You're worried about him walking around, running around with a limp, but you're not, you know, reporting on the same note that, oh, he's ahead of schedule. He shouldn't even be out there. Him being out there is a plus. Him being out there is actually a good thing because he's ahead of schedule. But I get it, man. That's what get the clicks. That's what get the clicks. That's what pay these people bills. So, you know, Jameis Winston, he's had to do with this uh, narrative painting nonsense all his all his career. I'm sure it doesn't affect him at all. But as Saints fans, man, we're glad to see him out there. OTAs, Dennis Allen's glad to see him out there. P. Carmichael and the guys are glad to see him out there. So that's no concern on, on this front from Jameis Winston limp. That's just not a big deal in my opinion. Also, man, Tyron Matthew gave good reviews on the rookies um, after the first OTA session, uh, some of the DBs. Um, obviously, they can't show too, too much. You're not in pads. You're in shorts and uh, basically a T-shirt and a helmet, man. So you can't really see too, too much of, of football things. But Tyron Matthew gave good reviews on Elante Taylor. He gave good reviews on Smoke Monday, which is good, man. I think those two guys are definitely the two guys in the secondary, you know, from this year's draft class, undrafted uh, draft class. They have a real, real shot to make this team. So getting good reviews from Tyron Matthew um, after two, three days of OTAs, that's, that's a good sign, man. He said Smoke Monday. Long, athletic, fast, going to be basically a safety, you know, hybrid type guy uh, in the box. And he said Alante Taylor also looks good. He's going to get his hands on a lot of balls and just because of his length, his size, and his speed and stuff like that. So, man, that's good reviews from um, Tyron Matthew from the two rookies. Hopefully, them guys could come in the second OTA session, keep getting better, keep improving. We may not need them this year, but you just never know, man. With injuries and how the NFL goes, those guys may be asked to step up um, if they make this team. Well, let me not say if they make this team because Alante Taylor is obviously making this team but you just got to say if for smoke monday just because so if he makes this team they probably will be able to help the saints this year at least on special teams or in, in some fashion i don't have too much on the offense man they just you know going as they go hopefully we get to see michael thomas at some point probably won't be in otas i'm giving up on that dream not saying you know that's a bad thing or a good thing but he need to get that ankle right uh chris olave just needs to keep improving james wilson needs to, james winston needs to keep getting healthy in the offensive line you can't really judge because they're not in pads and they can't really do anything so they just need to learn to learn the playbook get in sync um and just be healthy because i know everyone can't wait till we get in pads and start doing this and start doing that but the first guy i am looking at when the saints get in pads will be caesar ruiz he will have my full attention Every snap that they put out from training camp, he will have my full attention. I will be wanting to see if he's improved or stayed the same. So, but, yeah, man, the second session of OTAs is getting underway today again. And um, if it's some breaking news out of there, some small news, big news, you know, I'll, I'll be here to report it. Hopefully they give us some videos and some pictures and stuff like that again this time. But as always, this is the Boot Tragedies, and I'm out.